you take it and you like it. We are talking about House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones spinoff prequel series. Some new images are out. And uh, it th- those images bring up some serious questions about the timeline, the Game of Thrones prequel timeline itself. So, Shane, what's going on? Until George R. R. Martin finishes uh, Game of Thrones, uh, that's not true. I'm going to keep watching this stuff, probably. <laughs> I really wish he would just finish the book. Just finish it. Be done with it. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Uh, the, the, yeah. The, this House of Dragon actually, to me, looks more interesting than Game of Thrones was. Yeah, it's yeah. So just like the situation with Game of Thrones, readers of George R. R. Martin's books have a broad idea of what might happen in the prequel series. But readers and non-readers alike will have to wait for the episodes to find out exactly what HBO is doing with the Targaryen dynasty centuries before the War of the Five Kings. Targaryen. You're right. I said it wrong. Targaryen. Danny Targaryen. Take a look at the image of Millie Alcock as young princess uh, Ran... Ran Ran What is that? Renria? Renria? I don't know. That's a cool Targaryen. That's a cool image, bro. Uh, yeah. So this has them considering what the first season has in store and keep reading to whether we should be wondering at this point. So what's the question? That is kind of a good... I mean, that is like a young Daenerys, right? Daenerys. It looks like a young Daenerys. Yeah, and the um, the uh, the Iron Throne, like it's like melted and in pieces. See that? Mm. So that was... <clears throat> Before the Iron Throne was made? It's prequel, right? Right, right. This would have been... I mean, the Iron Throne clearly was there, so it looks like it was destroyed by the... Yeah, she is positioned in front of swords melted together just like the Iron Throne. So maybe it's a precursor to the Iron Throne. Mm. Uh, This suggests she may be destined for the throne after all, but raises the important question about the timeline. How long is Viserys Targaryen going to live before the chaos inevitably erupts. So the kind of the cool thing about Viserys is that in the um, in the Game of Thrones series, he's somebody who's long gone. Uh, it's only somebody that we learn about, you know, from history. And so getting to see this character, it was, you know, kind of ended up being a crazy king, right, will actually be pretty interesting. The Mad King. I think. The Mad King. Crazy. The, mad. the mad King. Um, oh, and he's played by. Uh, oh no, no, that's Prince Damon Targaryen is played by Matt Smith. That is why I'm so interested in this series. Oh, it's because it's Matt Smith. Matt Smith is is really really awesome. <clears throat> this thing's coming out really soon too. It's coming out in August, and it is something we're going to be covering. Uh, Are weekly. we? We talked about it, but did we did we decide on covering it. Yes, we are covering it. All right. That's great. So we'll be doing reviews yep. on that, right? We'll be doing reviews on this every week. Awesome. Had a whole list of cool stuff. We'll talk to the members later and share all the stuff we'll be covering coming up. Sweet. I just smacked my mic. That's not good. All right. So Patty, Patty, uh, Patty Consid- Consid- Considine. What, what is with all these weird last names people too have? Too much. Considine. Considine uh, plays King Viserys. Right, and he's going to be the lead character for the show. Uh, here's some interesting. Uh, Reese Ifans uh, is playing Otto Hightower. That's a guy who we've seen in lots of stuff. There's a nice little sprinkling of people that we've we've seen in other things that are going to be in this show that I think are going to make it pretty interesting. And of course, Matt Smith will will be extraordinarily interesting. I think. Yes. I wonder if he's playing a bad guy again because he's been playing nothing like bad guys lately. Uh, you know, there was, there's not a whole lot of good Targaryens, man. Yeah. So, would not be surprised. <laughs> he was in Morbius, dude. It's cool as we got, uh, we got, uh, Jefferson Halls playing Lord Jason Lannister. Yes. I'm, give me some yeah. Lannister all day long. Right. So, it's going to be a good, I think it'll be a good prequel. I think it's going to stand apart. It'll stand alone. Uh which is interesting. And of course we'll, we'll know how 
of course, we'll know what will happen towards the end. But I think it has potential to be a pretty good show. I agree. <clears throat> I agree. Wholeheartedly. What does it say? It says, uh, in fact, the prequel follows the ex- approximate format of Game of Thrones, which was obviously very successful. Then fans might want to expect Patty Considine to go the way of Sean Bean with his character killed off before the end of the first season. In the early episodes following the, uh, sowing the seeds of Silver War and then Chaos bringing the following death. That could be interesting. Also, yeah. interesting note, George R. R. Martin said that he expects to be involved in uh, to some extent and he says, who knows, if things work out well, uh, I may even be able to script a few episodes, just like he did in the first four seasons of Game of Thrones. Uh, but he said, let's make it perfectly clear, I am not taking on any scripts until I have finished and delivered Winds of Winter. So uh, you better hurry up, George. <laughs> Winter is still coming and winds remains my priority. So it's good to hear him say that. Yeah, um, yeah. that I, I, I call BS on that. No, no, I guys, mean, guys, I, guys, I'm totally going to finish the book. I don't get it. What, what is taking so long, bro? So, you know, I'll be curious to hear um, from Kenneth and Art Major who said, not interested in anything from A Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, so you're not interested in seeing the... Tell, tell us why you guys think that. You're not interested in it. What is that? What's A Song of Ice and Fire? That's the, the what George is writing. Oh. So is it because we've seen the, the, the finale according to HBO? Or I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. Yeah, I mean, if he just writes the same thing, what's the point of buying the book? Other than to have the series or whatever. <clears throat> I mean, well, it's, honestly, I mean, if you've read George R. R. Martin's books, they're they're just so much better than the show. So Interesting. They just are. There's so much more detail. There's so it's an actor can bring so much to a character, but what you bring to the characters that you care about and love, Jon Snow and the books are so much better than was portrayed in Game of Thrones. You know, and uh there's just there's just a whole lot better there for it. Okay. That's fair. <clears throat> okay, my friends, on the way to the comment section to tell Shane that uh reading books is not as good as watching the, the the movie please hit that subscribe button and the like button and all the other buttons and uh tell your friends and uh yeah yeah that's, that's about it i agree with you ken i pro- yeah i don't think you'll probably ever finish so if we'll never finish then why is he so is is, is, is that his goal is just to never finish no it's not his goal he's not telling anybody he's just taking too long like he's he's gonna have to get a hair up his butt one day and just and just finish it. I don't know what it is. I, I can't figure out whether or not he if he if once it ends then it's over. I don't know. Maybe he thinks he'll die after he ends. After Someone he ends. hire this dude a ghostwriter or something, man. Like help him out. Somebody yeah. jump into fantasy and be like George. Let's do this together. Come on, George. Right, I'll help that, you write it, George. That said, call. also let us know in the comment section. Do you think George R. R. Martin will finish that that damn series? Let us know. Yes. Oh, and also just to point out here for Archmage, uh, this is what I love about Archmage, Free, and I love all of our members in the member section. I'll watch your reviews, but they hold no luster for me. So you guys come here to watch us talk about it, even though you don't even like the dang show. That is loyalty, Brian. And the next time you come in my bedroom, remember that. I will. I will remember okay. that with every stroke of your hair. Yeah, that's just sick. <laughs> my middle name is Lannister. <laughs> <laughs>